my beautiful Libra friends how are you welcome back to sacred knowledge tarot I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today so thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel hello and welcome my friends my name is Rhea and I do these readings every week now Libra this is your late March reading everyone and what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with an Oracle card from the guardian angels Oracle deck then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animal oracle deck and then an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right libra let's call in spirit and open up your reading here all right, so let's see what we get here for you. No resistance, Libra, no resistance. I'm going to read the message on this card. Attachment to the outcome creates resistance in your receiving field. Everything that is meant for you will be delivered on waves of flow, light and ease the moment you remember that you are a miracle. Remember here, Libra, that you, my friends, are a miracle. So look at that, no resistance here. Allow yourself to let things go, flow with the energy here, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards as well and see what else comes through for you. All right, we are starting here with the 10 of cups. This is such a beautiful card. It's a card of fulfillment, a card of happiness, joy, and excitement. And this is what is coming towards you here. This is what you are creating, Libra. So I want you to imagine what this 10 of cups place is for you. I want you to walk around in that imagination, feel it, smell it, and experience it. All right, so 10 of cups to start. Next, we're getting the nine of pentacles. All of your hard work, your efforts are going to pay off. You're going to see the rewards of your efforts here at Libra. There's also a cycle that is completing here as well for some of you. So uh, perhaps some of you are closing up um, some loose ends here starting something new because this is bringing in a new beginning for you okay so harvest this is kind of what i'm getting here uh, reaping what you have sown as well now what i want you to do here libra is to use your own intuition with my readings so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen i want you to try and interpret it using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages so nine of pentacles and the high priestess card so intuition here and belief that there's something much bigger than you that is helping you uh, conspiring in your favor co-creating with you here Libra I also feel there's a manifestation that is taking formation here for you as well so those dreams that vision it's now taking shape in your reality this is a major arcana card this energy is going to be prominent it's in the background some of you are going to feel this intensely others you're going to feel this subtly all right so the high priestess here i love this uh, spread here for you libra because there's so many beautiful things that are unfolding in your lives now those of you that are seeing the number 11 11 i feel this is going to be a sign that you're on the right path um, it's also giving you confirmation around something especially if you've been asking for a confirmation libra now before i begin i just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives this is also a general reading for you libra so those of you that are watching Watching. if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind so I love this energy I feel that the vision is very clear for you Libra you know exactly what it is that you need to do in order to get what it is that you want I feel that a lot of you have gone through a lot um, there's been a lot of efforts and work put in this is really showing up here in the nine of Pentacles for you but you're trusting your guidance you're trusting your intuition here I don't know if any of you are using positive affirmations or implementing practices in your life that are keeping you in an uplifted energy 
energy, um, focusing in on your goals. You'll have to share with me here, Libra, in the comment section below what kind of strategies, what things, practices are you using in your current life to keep you on track? Because whatever you're doing, it's bringing in a lot of abundance. There's so many good things that are coming towards you here. It's also the, the um, filter that you're wearing, Libra. I feel that a lot of you are kind of shifting the way that you look at the world through the lens of love. And because of this, I feel that love is now returning to you. Um, those of you that are wanting to experience growth and expansion in your life, this is a confirmation here that this is all coming towards you. Some of you might already be feeling this energy. It's a really good time right now for you, Libra, to actually connect with people on a more deeper level to really network, especially if you're in business right now. Networking um, is really going to work out really well for you. Those of you that have social anxiety, especially with speaking, communication for you is going to be very important. Um, also listening, and I've been mentioning then this in uh, quite a bit of readings here is a lot of the signs is listening is going to be your superpower. We are moving into uh, eclipse season and also Mercury is about to go into retrograde here. So communication here is going to be very important. Uh, really looking at details of the things that um, you're kind of working towards here, any kind of messages or things that you're trying to do, pay att extra attention to detail to these things. But what I'm getting here is some of you are going to be surrounded by people. This is giving you an opportunity to really expand by connecting because through connecting with people, you're going to actually receive some opportunities coming in. Pay attention to the words that people are saying around you as well, Libra, because there's little, little miracles coming in through the words that people are going to say to you. So this could um, bring about an idea. Perhaps you're conversing with someone and all of a sudden you start talking about something and there's this bright idea and you actually move forward with it. These, these are the kind of things that are coming in. Also synchronicities, pay attention to synchronicities at this time. There's so many different signs that are coming in that spirit and the universe are sending your way here, Libra. There's a new direction for some of you. I also feel that um, some of you are looking for some sort of a truth is what I'm getting here. Like something is coming through here. Something wants to kind of show itself. Okay, this could be a truth. This could be a part of yourself that wants to come forward here. Um, but whatever this is, spirit guides are saying you already know the truth to look inward. Libra, those of you that are kind of looking around for the truth somewhere, the truth resides in you. And um, it's a question I feel that someone is asking out there. So you already know the answer here, Libra. Spirit guides are kind of turning you back to yourself here with this question. Those of you that are looking to have an answer around a question here, it's already been answered, they're saying. So, um, and some of you have received this answer through signs around you, okay? Uh, family, this is going to be very important. Your relationships, the way that you connect with people at this time is going to be very important. So any kind of reactive energy that you have, um, you want to be aware of it and how you're reacting to words, um, just actions right now. That's why I feel it's very important for some of you to really be an observer, observer, listener, rather than a reactor at this time. Um, pay attention to what people are saying because you're going to understand things on a different level here when you start to listen in and um, really hear the words that are being spoken to you, okay? I also feel that um, some of you are about to bump into somebody. I don't know if any of you have been manifesting or thinking about someone recently. Maybe this is a family member. Perhaps it's someone that uh, you knew a while ago. I feel there's almost like this uh, bumping into someone that you were just thinking about. So there's a synchronicity about to happen in your life around a certain specific person you've been thinking about here, Libra. Um, an expansion in your family. So I'm seeing some growth. So this could be like a child being born in some of your lives. This could be a family member or a friend that is having a child. There's almost like this expansion on family. Perhaps some of you have relatives or friends that are getting married 
or perhaps there's um, you're adopting a child here, Libra, or I'm seeing an entry, an incoming energy of a child here, okay? Um, and this can show up in any which way. This could be, you know, uh, if you're working in an environment with children and there's a child being added on into that group of kids, okay? This is what I'm picking up here playful energy here spirit guides really want you to play here life doesn't always have to be serious here uh libra they want you to balance out the play and the work in your life right now um, to explore and be curious around the things that bring you happiness and joy okay and that visualization of this happy place those of you that know where your happy place is if you're able to put yourself there and actually visual visualize it with clear, crystal clear clarity also um Sometimes it's hard to visualize. I feel sometimes we have a hard time visualizing what it is that we actually want or even understanding what this is, the Ten of Cups for us, this place of emotional fulfillment, this feeling of oneness, that happiness, that it's that deep, unconditional love. And this is kind of what spirit guides are wanting you to express in the world and kind of see the world through is unconditional love at this time because through this, you're going to see how things start to shift in a really, really positive way for you. And the efforts that you're putting into the areas of your life that you're wanting to see growth in, you're going to actually see these parts of your life starting to bloom. I feel this year for you, Libra, is going to be very different than the years before this. This is a year where you're going to see a lot of success, especially those of you that are putting the work into creating success in your life. This is also about taking in knowledge, learning as you go, um, understanding that mistakes are opportunities for growth, right? And you're not allowing these things, mistakes or, you know, setbacks or whatever these are kind of hinder your progress. Even though it might feel like it's kind of setting you back, there's something that you're meant to actually learn from the experience that is going to actually help you move forward and progress much more faster, okay? Um, and what I'm getting here is like, when I was first starting YouTube, I used to try tons of different things. I was watching a lot of tutorials, trying to figure things out. And even to this day, I still make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I make a little mistake and I, I see the back end of YouTube and I'm like, oh my God, what did I do here? This isn't working. And just researching. I'm constantly researching. So spirit guides are wanting you to constantly, you don't have to do this every single day. I do it every day in my own life. I love knowledge. I love soaking in information. So they're wanting you to really be open. Um, what they're showing me here is someone talking to you, you being open to what they're sharing with you as well. So those of you that are in the workplace, um, constru constructive criticism is coming through here. So be open to that. I feel sometimes we can feel... Um, almost like attacked by that. So those of you that are feeling like you're attacked by someone criticizing your work or giving you constructive criticism, again, this is why spirit guides are wanting you to listen to what they're saying rather than reacting to it, okay? So because there's some words of wisdom coming in. Now, the other thing is um, I'm getting different, different streams of income coming in. So some of you might be trying to uh, find ways to build income. Maybe you have a bunch of different ideas here, Libra. Perhaps you're thinking about this as you're working. You're working your nine to five and you're kind of thinking, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I rather branch off on my own and bring in my income myself. Um, I feel there's different ideas here. So they want you to pick one here and move with that right now. Take one things one at a time because through you doing things one at a time, you're going to see results. Okay, Libra? So very powerful energy and don't resist. The no resistance, um, attachment to outcome. So release that. Any kind of attachment you have to outcome because what's going to happen here is you kind of... Um, it's kind of like you put yourself in this like uh, bubble when you have an attachment to an outcome. Instead, think further after the outcome here, Libra. Think about what's going to happen after the outcome. Visualize that. 
because what's going to happen is the outcome is going to show up in a way that you're not expecting it to. And this is where you're going to uh, receive the rewards of your hard effort in a way that you're not expecting. Okay, so expect the unexpected here. I also feel some of you are in a really good position right now where you have accomplished a lot, Libra. I feel some of you are in a really good place in your life where you're looking to expand and grow and see, you know, where else life can take you. Perhaps you're thinking about traveling somewhere new. Maybe you've traveled a lot already. Maybe you have different projects on the go and they're doing really well and you're wanting to add another one. So I'm getting a lot of results through this as well. So those of you that have a good balance in your life work life balance here and you're able to stretch yourself out and do more things I feel this is a really good time for you to do this because you're going to see results from this as well okay so beautiful things coming in here for you lots of good you are winning big time here Libra like this is just a beautiful beautiful spread beautiful cards for you just uh this place of freedom, this place of independence is what I'm picking up here. And this is something that you have manifested and worked towards. I really feel that some of you have been implementing practices in your life that are actually helping you grow and expand. And this is a dream coming true for some of you. And the work that you're putting in, I feel there's so much work, but also on yourself. That self-development here, Libra, which is really uh, paying a have not paying a hefty price, but it's almost like paying rewards, hefty rewards for you. So those of you that have put yourself in a routine into a system where you have a schedule, you know what it is that you're doing here. You're meditating. You have your focus. You have a goal, and these are day-to-day -day goals, tasks. You're really seeing results from this, and I feel that it's very important for us to put ourselves into a system that works for us, into a routine or into a schedule. And as you move through this schedule, this routine, this journey, um, you can edit and make adjustments as you move along because some things might work, some things might not. We evolve and grow through those. Changes are going to come through as well. So being open and receptive. You're highly intuitive as well. So this is where spirit guides are channeling energy through you to bring you guidance. So awareness is a uh, heightened at this time for you, Libra. So some of you might be seeing a lot of signs right now. Those of you that are feeling like you're not connecting with spirit or you're not receiving the signs, you have to see what's going on in your mind here to see, are there a bunch of thoughts? Am I worried? Am I stressed? What are emotions like? Because it goes back to the thoughts, the things that are whirling around in your mind here, Libra. What you want to do is take these thoughts, transfer them onto a sheet of paper, empty your mind, clear your mind and come to a place of quiet and stillness. Create that inner sanctuary, cultivate that inner sanctuary within you so you can go to a place of peace and calm and kind of clear out the clutter in your mind so you can make room for spirit to channel energy through you. Not only are you going to receive um, solutions for some of the things that you're going through, but you're going to also receive guidance, opportunities, synchronicities, things that you're not expecting that are already there in front of you, Libra. Okay, so just pay attention to everything that comes in your awareness. I feel angel numbers. Some of you might be seeing angel numbers. I'm getting the number 11 here for you, which is letting you know that you're on the right path. I also feel some of you are about to make a big decision around something. And maybe you are kind of going this way and that way. Like there's a little bit of thought, something that has to do with um, the dreams, like where you're headed in life. They want you to choose yourself here, Libra. Choose you to tune out the noise, especially when people are telling you you should do this or you should do that or any kind of thoughts that you have of how this might affect somebody in your life. I feel that you need to focus on yourself now and I feel because you have the vision clear, you know, and, and what I'm getting here now is maybe there's a, a little bit of worry here in the background around your family, uh, maybe your spouse. Uh, what are people going to think? I'm getting all these thoughts coming in. So those of you that have these pile of thoughts in your mind, it's very important that you take those thoughts out of your mind and put them onto a sheet of paper. Once you've done that, scrunch it, scrunch that paper and chuck it in the garbage, Libra. Those thoughts don't belong here. They belong in the garbage for now and allow yourself to open up and receive energy for, and, and a communication through spirit here. Um, 
but I feel there's they're trying to communicate with you somehow Libra and they're going to communicate with you in ways that you're not expecting so again pay attention to your dreams numbers is coming up um, I don't know if any of you are seeing like mist it almost looks like this from the side of your eye if you're seeing that anywhere this is a an angel okay so they're showing an angel if it's a white colored uh, mist and I feel that um, what you need to understand is that you're safe and that you're protected any kind of decision any kind of choice that you're making in your life make it through your heart center um, allow spirit to guide you as you make this decision because if there's any kind of fear around making this spirit guides are letting you know that you are surrounded by angels that you are safe and you're protected and you're able to move forward without um, any kind of fear okay uh, whatever is meant for you there is going to remain there for you so they just want you to move forward I also feel some of you are kind of um, really um, what is this that they're showing me it's kind of like you're you're coming to the forefront here you're not going to stay stay in the shadows anymore you're you're now moving forward so it's almost like there's a spotlight on you I'm getting this through the high priestess for you today so this spotlight could be something that um, is internal for some of you or this could be actually you coming into the light and um, finally doing something where you're going to be recognized for it or finally doing the thing that you said that you wanted to do that you've kind of kept in the back burner here in Libra so I'm seeing a really a lot of good things happening here for you a lot of success a lot of growth a lot of expansion in your lives and a lot of happiness this is a very heart-centered energy for you Libra so I, I'm gonna read this last uh, this opening message to you one more time attachment to the outcome creates resistance in your receiving field everything that is meant for you will be delivered on waves of flow light and ease the moment you remember that you are a miracle you are a miracle and you're creating miracles in the world this is what's happening here with the nine of pentacles these are the many miracles that some of you have already created and there's so many more that you're going to create so believe in the power of you here Libra there's so many things that are unfolding I'm just getting this beautiful feeling here for you so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook so those of you that are seeing any kind of animals or insects this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance anything that I have missed or spirit would like to share is going to come through this card for you today so we are getting frog spirit clear out the clutter there it is the number 28 so those of you that are seeing frogs toads in your life this is your confirmation today if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now and you're probably going to see one so the number 28 here this could be a number of significance for some of you timing I'm getting 28 days with this or the 28th day okay the 28th of the month is what I'm picking up here with this card so let's read you the interpret uh, interpretation I'm going to read you the oracle message okay so frog spirit knows that while all the other frogs are croaking away this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so you can feel content on your own lily pad Libra even when life isn't creating total cacophony we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise then the next thing we know our schedules and homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects objects taking up valuable space even relationships need decluttering Libra as they often become messy frog spirit appears to tell you to clean house prioritize what you need and get, get rid of or give away the rest so you can have space in your day and in your head you don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you about your past along with physical clutter friendships and sometimes uh, that are sometimes kept long past their expiration date weighing you down with unnecessary baggage Libra now is the time to let go whatever you need will appear when you need it that's the intuition that is the high priestess so release your grip on all that clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened frog spirit wants you to reclaim your space un unencumbered by shoals outs and could have beens let go and jump you are free from that old stuff Libra so look at that embrace frog spirit here everyone I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching if you've been seeing repeating numbers angel numbers in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so let's see what we have for you today go with the flow Libra 
Go with the flow, my friends, the number 8989. Those of you that are seeing eights and nines or 89, this is your confirmation today. This could be a number of significance. Uh, those of you looking for timing, 89 days, eight to nine days, eight to nine weeks, or eight to nine months. So open yourself up to new possibilities here. They're wanting you to be flexible because there is a shift taking place. You are merging with the divine here. That's the high priestess card again for you, Libra. Everything is happening for your highest good. Relax and let go, Libra. So look at that. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.